guys, welcome to the video. I'm getting a little small group session with a pretty good group of guys. I'll, as everybody comes in, I'll start introducing everybody. So this is Chase Boone. Uh, Chase, do you want to say like where you've been yeah, playing? Yeah, yeah. So I went to University of Redlands. Um, I graduated in 2018, and then I went over to England right after graduation and played for this program called Richmond International. And from there, I got my master's degree in business. And then at the end of that year, I actually got a trial over in Denmark in this team called Tested FC, and I signed to your contract. So yeah, I'm just there right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, just training with Matt during the uh, off season and getting ready for my preseason in January. Yeah, yeah. And so, do you want to talk about me at all? Or? Yeah, yeah. So last February, I actually tore my patellar tendon. So I've been on recovery mode this whole year and. Yeah, they've been helping me get back mm -hmm. and ready to play in shape. So, so not fully training everything yeah. right now, but yeah, just slowly coming yeah. back. No contact, everything but contact. Yeah, so this is uh, Devin and Angelo. They both play Gonzaga. Do you guys want to just kind of say how old you are, where you play, like position-wise, and like a little bit of backstory about your career or whatever, even yeah. though you guys are young? <laughs> yeah, so I'm Angelo Calfa. I'm from Seattle. I'm 22, and uh, I've spent the past couple years playing in England, and I uh, grew up playing for Crossfire. And now uh, this is my first season at Gonzaga, so yeah, just coming down to train with the guys. How how is Gonzaga going? Gonzaga's been great. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's been like small group trainings right now because we haven't got oh, like, yeah. the limitations off, but it's been great. It's definitely a different style than England. So yeah, uh, I can see that. Yeah. What do you like more? England. England. Right now, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. I think once we play like full full games, right. we'll be there. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Devin. Uh, Devin Slingsby. I'm from Portland, I'm 20 years old, and I'm a sophomore at Gonzaga. Um, I transferred there from Bradley University, which is in Peoria, Illinois. And um, I would say if you're looking to transfer at all, uh, it's it's probably the right thing. If you feel like it's the right thing in your heart, then it's going to work out. Yeah. It Was that tough at all to do that? Yeah, it was really hard. The process isn't easy to deal with the NCAA, especially transferring grades or whatnot. But um, I mean, the hardest part was probably leaving my friends, but I would say for soccer, mm -hmm. if you feel like you're not at the right place and every day you think about it, then it's it's got to be a thing you have to do is transfer. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Right, so this is Rubio. Obviously, you guys have met him before. I did a full video with Rubio and everything. Um, do you want to say like what's going on? Like where, where you've been up since the last time you've been on uh, uh, our channel? Where you just good. signed for? Uh, he hasn't signed yet. I know. <laughs> well, I haven't signed yet. I, I've been... Um, Pretty much just waiting to see where I'm gonna go, but it's been fun training with you, dude. It's been a lot of fun being out here with Matt, and um, so yeah, pretty much just waiting for the next opportunity. But my last stint in San Diego Loyal USL team, it went really well, thankfully, and uh, just waiting on the moment. So pretty much it. Rubio so humble on camera. He killed, I know. He came in. He came into San Diego and killed it. Sent in for Metcalf. Brings it down on this near side, a strike, and it's in! But it's Rubio Rubin! In addition to the Lonies, they're still right there. Darnell King slipped, and San Diego might be in again, and there's goal number two! Find a way to get some outlet passes and play off roof at Dadashov, and you'll be just fine for San Diego Loyal. Here they go again. Rubin deflected in! And there is the hat trick! Rubio Rubin in the first half, three goals for San Diego. Rubin takes it, swings it in, and San Diego has scored. Full score. This ball is bending away from Dick, and then at the last second curls back in. Dick actually has it covered because there's so much bend, though. It's almost outside the post and comes back in. And there's really nothing Dick can do. So it'll be really cool to see where you go uh, next season, wherever that is. And then this is... Uh, Rowan, <laughs> this is Rowan. Uh, Rowan, uh, you've been uh, with Timbers Academy, huh? Everything. You went to Lincoln High School for a few years before you fully went to the academy. Young guy. Uh, do you want to say how that's going and everything? And just what you're, can you say anything about your next step too? You don't have to, you don't have to. Yeah, um, uh, it's been good. Uh, the Timbers, obviously, good program, allows me to, to reach like my next level in, in my goals. I'm looking uh, to go play in a Division One program after. Uh, not sure exactly where yet. I have some options, but yeah, we'll see for sure. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thanks, Rubio. This is Rubio sessions. Sixteen. Yeah, he's young. And he's, he's good. Goalkeeper, good keeper. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, and then also this is, so Rubio's been running all these sessions, um, but also it's, it's gonna be really cool because you guys have obviously on a lot of my sessions, but it's really cool to see the similarities and differences with uh, all Rubio's drills and everything that we do. Um, and then this is Zane Provenzano, is that right? <laughs> Yeah, you got it. All right, um, Zane, do you want to just say like what you've been up to for the last like few years, where you've been playing and everything, and like maybe what you, your future hopefully yeah, sure. maybe looks like? Yeah, so uh, I'm Zane. Um, I was in England for the last three years. Got sent home in uh, March because of COVID, and uh, now just trying to find a team. Hopefully, uh, here in the U.S. soon. That's the goal. But how was England? It was fantastic. It was the it was a good experience. I would definitely say uh, I'm glad to be home, but um, I learned a lot there and uh, I wouldn't take any of it back. It was it was fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. And so I think that's everybody, right? That's everybody. Yeah. So yeah. now uh, now we'll just get in the session, do a full training session. It's usually like two, two and a half hours. Thanks, Zane. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we'll just pop in.
Base, ready? Here you go. Yep. Yeah. Step two, step two, step two. Don't lie. Yes! That's the fucking one. What the? Ooh, you left. Fish! Fish! Get it! What is this? 3 1. 3 1. Get in! Come on in! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. You're, you're a witness. You're a witness. Come on, let's go. You're a witness. That's why you're like, shit, I'll give it to you. Fuck. If you were actually good, you would have found me. test so that's like the the I'm gonna do more yoga do a little bit of guided meditation get my 10 pages in and it'll be good so hope you guys like this session though I've been doing this like three four days a week with these guys it's been it's been really good uh, what's going on it's like six o'clock in the evening um, I just came back and I like showered I ate lunch I've just been kind of like working on become elite editing working on like a full Instagram post and everything um, so I was like, I was really caught up in that. I did some meditation. I read 10 pages, but I still have my second workout and like my 10 minutes of stretching. So I'm going to combine them into one. I'm going to do a 45 minute mobility workout type thing. Uh, these are a little bit different than the yoga because instead of just stretching, I'm also going to do like foam rolling and some like really like myofascial release. And I'll kind of walk you guys through what I do with that, but it's, it's very similar and it's really just tailored to my uh, tight areas. But before I do that, I'm gonna do the continuous Q&A real quick. And this question is from Eggman. And Eggman asks, what's your opinion on mile runs slash 5K runs, etc.? Since other YouTubers such as Jack Blake, Connor Parsons, Higgsy, and Athlete Express do it. I think 5k runs, two mile runs, like long distance city state runs is, is definitely good and you should add it to your routine. My whole thing is that that shouldn't be your only form of stamina training because you know when you play you're not just running for long periods of time without any change of direction or any change of speed. Most of the time, most of the runs that you'll be doing on the football pitch is going to be very fast and short and it's just high intensity interval training. So. Typically, I like to do majority of my of my stamina as hit training. Um, I think it's just more game realistic, but I definitely think it's 
crucial to also add in that longer distance steady state stuff. You guys don't see me doing that a ton because um, to be 100% honest, that's one of my like biggest strengths about me as a player. I hold and maintain my fitness really, really well. I can just do like the trainings that you saw just before this with all the guys and just even individual training with the ball. I can do that and maintain my fitness extremely well. And honestly, I don't really need to do any fitness training to just be middle of the pack when it comes into preseason with my professional teams. However, I always live pretty competitive and I really wanna push myself. Um, so I, I really only do cardio at the last four weeks before I head off into preseason, just so I can be like top five every time I go into preseason with a team. So yeah, I mean, that's the answer. It's, it's, it's really that that's such a big strength of mine that I wanna focus more time and energy on areas that I really need to improve, like crossing, like 1v1s, like small-sided games, like rondos, stuff like that. Okay, so to walk you through what I'm gonna do for this mobility session, um, typically I'll do about 15 minutes of foam rolling and I only kind of foam roll the areas that are really tight for me. I never really need to foam roll my hamstrings. They're just naturally kind of loose. So I spend most of my time foam rolling like my glutes. Like I'll do like a, a pigeon or a figure four stretch with the glutes. I'll come in here and just, just really just try to find tight areas and just leave it there or just barely move across the tight areas and it's just painful. I do a lot of hip flexor stuff. So just again, finding an area where it hurts or where it's very tight and just letting my body sink into it. I'll do a ton of quads, same thing that you've always seen, the typical doing the quads, finding the tight areas. And then I'll do like my lower calves. This is always tight for me, like right, like below the actual calf muscle, right before I get to the Achilles tendon is like always tight down there. Um, so that's like the foam rolling I'll do. Typically I'll spend about 10 minutes doing foam rolling. Then I'll take a dumbbell and this is where I do like really deep myofascial release, usually on my hip flexors or my psoas, like right here and just let my body just sink into the dumbbell. It's painful, but it's, it's a good, it's a good way to do that self myofascial release on those tight, tight areas. I'll do a lot of groin stuff again, so I'll come down the dumbbell as well. It looks a little awkward, but I just get the dumbbell up in there on the groin, same thing, and let my body just sink into that dumbbell as well. So in total, that'll be about like five minutes. That's like 15 minutes total. Then I'll take like the stretching strap that I have, do the typical, you know, just stretching with the strap, letting my leg fall out, bring it across this way, just moving around wherever it's tight. Um, so I'll use the stretching strap for a little bit. And then I do like, not really like yoga moves, but just stuff where I feel like I need, like I spend a lot of time on the computer. So I'll take the foam roller back here and I'll just let my upper body like sink back and like stretch out my upper back because I spend so much time editing and kind of hunched over. So I'll do a lot of that kind of stuff. And then I'll, I'll feel like the last 15 minutes or so, I'll just do the typical hip flexors, you know, do the quads, come down here, do some glute stretches and everything. And this is kind of just more like deep stretching. So a little bit of foam rolling, a little bit of self myofascial release, use the stretching strap and then just kind of stretch my tight areas. So very similar to yoga, but just adding in a few different things. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's 45 minutes of mobility work. I'm feeling fantastic. Um, I'm pretty much gonna go downstairs, eat dinner, chill, watch some TV, and then just repeat it all again tomorrow. Training with the same group of guys tomorrow. I think actually a few more guys might be coming out as well, so awesome. Um, yeah, that's it for the video. If you guys liked it, the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.